I want to congratulate the Patriots for their leadership on and off the field. The Super Bowl champion Patriots honored at the White House for the fourth time. I think we can all admit it just really doesn't ever feel like and remember he gets the, old. The president is a Bears fan, so it's even harder <laughs> for him to do it. But Good. conspicuous by his absence today is one Tom Brady. So let's get to Jim Loke, who's live at the White House. All right, Jimmy, where was Mr. Brady? That was a good question, Ed. Well, according to the Patriots, he had a family commitment, and they refer to him as their veteran White House correspondent. Of course, the Patriots have been here four times after Super Bowl victories. This is the first one without Brady, but each time the Patriots made it here, they continued what has become a tradition. When you're privileged to own a team in the NFL, the greatest business in the world, you dream about this day. Pat's basking in the afterglow of another White House trip after a Super Bowl victory. Anytime the President of the United States says your name and acknowledges you, uh, you know, it's. It's pretty, in, in, pretty insane. But the team made a point of making this just more than a leisure trip. The team stopped by Walter Reed Army Medical Center. I was very shocked at how many Patriots fans were in there. I just want to thank those guys if they're watching this. They, they really are the true heroes. Proud to be an American. Proud to be at the White House in Washington, D.C. Proud to be a New England Patriot. And for their actions, right, the right. president here, praised here, here, the team. Thanks. The Patriots organization is as good as an organization as there's ever been in professional sports. But apparently he couldn't resist one more reminder of Deflategate. I usually tell a bunch of jokes at these events, uh, but with the Patriots in town, I was worried that uh, 11 out of 12 of them would fall flat. <laughs> and, and you know, as big as an ovation as that joke got, there was one other thing the president said that really fell flat here and literally fell flat. No response when he said he wished Boston would share some of its sports championships with the city of Chicago. We're not giving anything back. Live at the White House, I'm Jim Loke, WCVB, New Center 5.